Hey little darling, keep your head held high Less more is here, go make sure you don't cry He's a junior ranger but you know he can't swim So someone's gonna have to help him Someone's gonna have to help him Hey Mr. Moore, are you sure you don't need help? You seem to be struggling to put that tent up by yourself Try to start a fire and now it's a mess Regardless, he's trying his best Regardless, he's trying his best Regardless, he's trying his best Hey, Kim. What's up, Chuck? Hey, Les. Huh? You gotta come over and check out the new train set I got. I reconstructed the Big Sur Bridge off the California coast. No can do, buckaroo. Buckaroo? What's up with that? What's up with all this camping gear? Oh, you remember that Feld project I had a few weeks ago? <laughs> oh yeah, who can forget that? It's how Brooke got put on probation. I really let down my mentorees. What do you mean? I'm there to teach them and I couldn't even get my act together. You know, for the past few weeks, I have been in a deep state of funk, mind you, lying here on the couch watching nature shows. Nature? You hate nature. Camping for you is like waiting in line for a Black Friday sale. True. But you know, in nature, that's where people really, you know, connect with the earth, where they, where they find their deep roots, where they discover who they really are. Connect. You connect with a room service at a five-star hotel. Agreed. But in the words of the great naturalist Henry David Thoreau, he said, I went to the woods because I wished to live deliberately, to front only the essential facts of life, to see if I could not learn what I had to teach, and not when I die discover that I had not lived at all. Oh my God. I see the world differently now. No, really, this is it. Mm-hmm, yeah. Like that time that you wanted to be a circus animal trainer, and you adopted all them feral cats and tried to train them in your garage. Okay, admittedly, those cats did bring on some suspect rashes and an unknown disease that I'm still discovering. <laughs> but this is my moment to, to prove to myself and to them that I can start over. Anyone can start over. They can be anything they want to be. That's why I've decided to become a junior ranger. <laughs> junior ranger? Yeah, I, I, don't, I, I don't think that's what you think it is. Yeah, it's the first step in becoming a ranger. It's like a pre-ranger. It's like, you know, climbing the corporate ladder, but in nature terms. So in nature, it's like climbing a corporate tree. Time to fuel up. Car's almost packed. <laughs> Kim has so graciously decided to help me out. Darn right I did. She's really great with all that camping slash outdoorsy stuff. Yeah, right on. <laughs> right! <laughs> Isn't she great? How many of those has she eaten? I have no idea. I can't believe how much stuff she fit in that car. I'm not terribly surprised. The woman did single-handedly kill and stuff your entire colony of feral cats and turn them into circus jugglers. Where are you going? Oh, I was just, I was just going home. You know, the two of you are, are destined to fulfill this gregarious endeavor. Hey, you like to dance, huh? Exactly. Uh, no, um, like to play sports? Uh, I feel uncomfortable. 
no, no, I know no sports that that you play. You're you're really aggressive for such a topical conversation. Right? <laughs> so she had the batting cages, huh? Which is why we must advance our movements as to set precedent as when the youth arrive. Anon, Chuck. Anon. Whoa, whoa. You can anon. I have a tiny town to build. Okay, do you really want to shut yourself in all weekend with the little town of inanimate objects? Or do you want to live life like our ancestors did? Here, in the great outdoors. Brooke, Brooke, from what you're telling me, you're only a few minutes away. Just look for the signs. Lana, I got one for you. Whoa! Ouch, Kim! We're already unpacking. I need you here for the briefing, okay? <laughs> no, no, don't bring that. Cheese and crackers. Give me a break. Hey, Mom, why are we camping here? I don't know, sweetie. Les had a vision. Yeah, I guess you could call it camping. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Les, boy's got something for you. This is a good spot. We can start on the tent for Les right here. This stuff smells musty. Listen up, boys. We need to talk. Walk with me if you. You see, boys, one does not simply put up a tent. The tent has to belong. You see how the sun kisses the branches of these delicate pines? Uh, these are scrub oaks. Just the same way I want the morning sun to kiss my tent as it melts off the diaphanous dewdrops. Okay, Les, we'll set it up for your sun kiss diaphragm thing or whatever. I have a feeling Les is out of his element this time. No, he's bringing more elements into this one. I got a hand to the man. He certainly is method in his purpose. Leanna, hurry up, sweetie. I want you to help me design the perfect open space gathering for our immersive experience. Uh, Les, isn't the forest already an open space? I mean, if you want, I can hack down some trees to make more space for you. <laughs> That's very thoughtful, but unnecessary. Anyways, I don't think the National Forest Service would appreciate your personalized deforestation methods. Well, well, look who decided to join the expedition. I'm not here by choice. This is the easiest way for me to take care of my community service. Yeah. 
Greetings, my babbling brook, my prodigal protege. I thought we were supposed to be camping. Does Les realize that we're not... Okay. Note to self. As a junior ranger, camping isn't a place. It's a mindset. Ah! Let's see that swing. Oh, now we gotta work on that. I'm surprised you showed up. It's not like I signed up for this. Thanks to you. I didn't really have a choice. Oh, by the way, can you sign this for my probation officer? I'm not sure how to apologize anymore. Sometimes I get a little carried away. A little carried away? Now, I'm just trying to think of that night in the county jail as a research opportunity for a future role. You know, they say uh, great suffering creates great character. Thanks for the wisdom. I came back because I got lost in the giant crowd in Hollywood. I thought you could help me, as you always did. And then that? What were you thinking? I know. I know. I promise I'll make it up to you. Dang it, who created these things? Let me try. I learned a thing or two from pantomiming for my feature film, Cavewoman, Alien Abduction. That was a good one. <laughs> okay, everybody, let's gather around for the group briefing. All right, let's go. Um, I'm real hungry. What are we gonna eat? Sorry, sweetie, we'll eat in about 30, 40 minutes after Les's meeting. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you. So, as you all know, our small little troop experienced a great defeat. There's no need to reiterate the matter because Brooke took the majority of the consequence after the failed attempt, as evidenced by her ankle bracelet. You know me, I just love to take one for the team. However, after weeks of reflection and anguish over the past incident, I decided that it's time for a redirection, a change for all of us. In stage terms, a reset. But you still haven't explained to us why we're here in this place. To get back to our roots, Liana. This is the first step in our commitment to become junior rangers, which in effect is going to be our long-term goal of becoming actual rangers. It's no longer about us. It's about Mother Earth. Here, in the great outdoors. Ow! What the who's it? Oh. <laughs> If you hadn't noticed, we are in the city park. Whoa, so sorry about the frisbee. We're just going to play through. Normally, people don't camp out here. That's her. That's, that's the lady from Earth. And Les, you brought your own props. Yeah, it's like a junior oceanographer bringing a paper mache shark to the lagoon. Look, hey, 
we all know that Les has completely let us down, and he isn't perfect. And he monumentally blew it. Thanks. Where are you going with all this tech? But we're here, and he's trying, and this is the plan right now. He's done so much for, for all of us. Why wouldn't we help him on his journey to find his life's true calling? Besides, what else you got going on on a Friday night? Playing video games. Going to the movies. Baking cookies. Shopping at the mall. Building out my train set. Hmm. Literally anything else. Wow, that was an extensive list. Thank you all for taking the time to wrestle with your choices. And Chuck, you know, it's bad form to answer your own question. It's water under the bridge, Les. Besides, guys, even though he's failed us miserably, he does all of this because he cares. So, who's with him? You know I always am. <laughs> Besides, who else is gonna do the heavy lifting, huh? <laughs> uh. I have to go? I don't have a car or... Bye. Hey guys, I've written our next episode. <laughs> <laughs>